first, still coming out of what, what did you tell me yesterday? What's the right way to say it? Not coming out of the pandemic. Different but stage or stage, phase of the pandemic. Phase of the pandemic. Well, we got yep. some good news. I always like to say good news about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine when it comes to uh, the variant. And Virginia. this came out last night just before I went to sleep. And it is good news for the about approximately 12 million Americans who have gotten the J&J &J vaccine. It has to do with how well it is holding up against the Delta variant, which is expected to become the dominant strain here in the U.S. And the good news is it's doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. Overall, 85% effective against severe COVID-19 disease. Note that that does not say against infection. So people should not be surprised if occasionally they hear people who have been vaccinated get infected. The key is keeping those people out of the hospital and saving their lives. And this vaccine is doing well. And also good news, kind of a one-two punch. It has been followed up to eight months in this study, and it is showing sustained good immune protection for this eight month period of time and those antibody levels actually getting stronger with time, which is also good news. Always great to hear mm -hmm. you start and stop by saying good news. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we, talk, we were talking about the heat just a moment ago. It, it, this is always good to keep in mind. This is dangerous. This is life threatening heat. It's not just hot out. This is life threatening. Absolutely. And this is when again we see uh, meteorology, climate, weather intersect with medicine and health. Hundreds of people lose their lives in this country every year due to heat related disease. This heat wave no different, sending hundreds of people to the emergency rooms already taking lives, most at risk, the very young, the elderly, pets, we can't forget about that. And prevention is critically important. If possible, you want to stay inside. You want to stay in air conditioned areas if possible, even if those are public areas. If you are feeling overheated or see someone or an animal that is overheated, the treatment, cool baths, fans to conduct the cool air around that, that person or animal, move that person indoors. But I want to be crystal clear, if you suspect heat stroke, that is a true medical emergency. You need to call 911. Oh gosh, and always good to keep that stuff in mind. Thank you so much. We'll see you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.